Hi, this is Susanna from WordPress Building Blocks, and today we're going to look at the Pages menu on the WordPress dashboard. This is part of our continuing series on an in-depth look at the WordPress dashboard. So I hope you've caught the earlier portions of it. If not, you might want to go back and review. Previously, we've looked at the toolbar, which is this area at the top of the page here, the dashboard home, the posts menu, and the media menu. So today we're looking at pages, and pages is another simple menu with just two items. It's got the pages, and it's got your add new button. And as with all of the others we've looked at so far, there are three places where you can add a new page in WordPress. You can do it from here. You can do it from this plus sign at the top of the toolbar. Just scroll down the page and click. Or you can do it at the top of this page. Now you'll notice some similarities with the posts menu and the media menu. On this line, you can choose which pages you're going to look at. You can look at all of them. You can look at just the ones that have been published, just the drafts, private pages, and trash. So right now we're looking at all. To look at published, we just go to publish and click. And it looks pretty similar because almost everything in the original page has been published. But there's your published page, and then we can go to Drafts, click, and we have one draft here. We can go to Private, and Private would be something that you have published but not made public. And then Trash, of course, is pretty self-explanatory. There's nothing in the trash right now, but if I had something in here and I wanted to, I could just click the empty trash button and get rid of it pretty easily. So those are your choices of how you look at your pages in the index. You can also search. You can type something into the box here and click search pages. And just like with the posts and with the media menu, you have some bulk actions. And with your pages, when you first install WordPress, you can edit or you can move to trash. So if you had a group of pages that you wanted to get rid of, you could just uh, put your little click boxes here, go up to bulk actions, select move to trash, and then click apply. And I'm not actually going to do that. You can also filter by dates. You can show all dates, or you can pick a month. So let's just uh, go to July of last year, click Filter, and there's one here from last July. Now let's go back to the Show All. Okay. Now, when you hover your mouse over the title, here's the About Me page, you see some additional choices that pop up. You can edit, you can do a quick edit, you can put it in the trash, or you can view it. Now, when you click on Edit, this is what you get. And as I've mentioned before, I like to use the text editor. But if you use the visual editor, this is what it would look like. Okay. And I'm going to go back now to the pages menu. Quick edit is a little bit different. Quick edit doesn't give you the chance to actually edit any of um, the content on the page, but you can change the title and the slug, you can change the date, you can password protect it to make it private. Remember I mentioned a few minutes ago that there are some pages that might be published but private. So if you had something uh, you wanted to make private, this is where you can do it. Uh, you can assign it a parent page, 
and this is my about page so it doesn't have a parent. You can change the default template. You can turn off comments by unchecking this box or you can even change its status. Uh, it, even if you've published it, you can change it back to draft or pending review. But uh, those are the changes you can make and when you're done just click update and it goes back to the regular view. I'm just going to click cancel here because I don't really want to make any of those changes. Now obviously you can put it in the trash just by clicking here or you can view the page by clicking this button and again because this is a sandbox site and it's uh, something I play around with this is not set up, so this is not anything that I would want the world to see at this point. But I'm sharing it with you. Now, you can see I have three pages in this index, and I can scroll through them one page at a time by clicking here, or I can go to the end by clicking here. And if I'm at the end, I can scroll back the same way. I can go a page at a time, or I can go all the way back to the beginning. Now, you'll notice that I have a couple of pages here that are indented with a dash under my About WordPress page. That's because these are uh, what we call child pages or sub pages. And if we look at the Quick Edit view, for example, we see that the parent is listed as about WordPress, which is this page here. So that's your pages menu in a nutshell. I hope you've enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one. Next time we're going to talk about comments in WordPress.